another gorgeous autumn day. Just beautiful. method I use to sniff out bottle caps using the AT Pro. Um, the settings I use are Pro Coins uh, mode um, and I have the Iron Audio enabled. So what I'm looking for is when I'm when I start getting that clear signal right or that clear audible tone so I'm, I'm more or less directly over it right now with the coil and the, VD, the VDI is not uh, a reliable indicator it's pretty decent but on bottle caps there's such a variance that it's almost sometimes pointless what I do is I, I find that clear audible tone and then I move away from it and I sh most cases when it's a bottle cap nine out of ten times it's gonna give me that iron feed iron audio thud like that it sounds like feedback when um, you know the old modem feedbacks or the when you're uh, when you're listening to something on a speaker and uh, your phone starts to go you, your phone is about to start ringing you can hear mm -hmm. that's the kind of electrostatic feedback you get from the iron audio um, I have not dug this target I've not seeded it I just I just know that it's gonna be a bottle cap so I'm just gonna demonstrate now <clears throat> and of course the re you know I know a lot of you are probably thinking what's the point of being able to detect the bottle cap but uh, when you have short hunts knowing this and using a more reliable detection system than just the the VDI um, can really shorten your uh, your t your time now let me just double check that It's saying that it's right here now and of course it's really important to uh, to survey nearby areas there you go no corona bottle cap so guys um, this is a pretty reliable method I've uh, I've done it repeatedly and over and over and over again now I say the 9 out of 10 times because especially on the AT Pro it tends to blend in um, nearby targets so it's really important to survey the nearby area before you're about to skip over it um, because that could influence the iron audio feedback okay thanks for watching and happy hunting